guys, my name's Nick and this is my Scout Olympic. This thing's a six foot camper, ultralight, modular design. We'll walk through the side here and I'll show you what's up. So first part is it's got these removable, extendable jacks. You can see this one's in, and, or this one's out, this one's in. Uh, these are, uh, you just put a power drill in them and you can up and put this thing up, put it down, all kinds of cool stuff. Nice part is you can pull these pins here and they come off once they're on your truck. So you're not carrying jacks once your camper's on. And then the tie downs, there's no special camper stuff. These just go straight to your D rings and your bed. And because it only weighs 900 pounds, uh, that's all the tie downs there are on the whole camper. So literally takes four minutes to load. You just put it in your bed, click those down, take your jacks off and you're good to go. So right here you have uh, two, two and a half gallon uh, propane tanks and you can just switch from one to the other. I've been running off this one for two weeks now on the heater and stove and it's still not empty so it's super efficient. The guys at Scout said that you can do a family of four in here cooking and heat for a week off of these two. So that's pretty sweet. So this is storage. Uh, you've got all your handles to raise and lower your jacks leveling pads and then I keep all my bathroom stuff in here too but it's big enough you can put your traction boards in here uh, you can put you can almost get a set of skis in there but not like kids skis probably but other than that it's just good for all your camper gear Close that. all these are keyed to the same key which is kind of sweet so this is the external cooktop and so you can pop your stove inside, put it right here. Your gas line is right there. Uh, and then you can put all your external cooking gear right in here or any other stuff you want to store. So that's pretty nice if you want to cook outside. The other uh, kind of sweet thing is this is a bat wing awning that you just pop out and it locks in over there behind the door. So it covers both your side access, your kitchen window, and your cook stove outside. So you've got a huge amount of versatility out here. And before we go in, one other thing is these, uh, there is no traditional frame in this camper. It's a sandwiched honeycomb aluminum design. So there's honeycomb and aluminum and foam all inside these walls and they are the load bearing portion of the camper. So if you wanna put, uh, you know, your uh, traction boards here, if you wanna put another gas tank over on this other side, you can bolt directly through this stuff with a metal backer on the back and you're good to go. All right, so here is the interior. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of Spartan and modular, but that's the whole point of these. All this stuff should be able to come out and go into whatever camping gear, in the truck, on the raft, whatever you want to do on the boat. Uh, so I'll start here and we'll work our way around. This is a CSI black ice freezer fridge combo. Uh, it runs two separate uh, can, sides. One can be a freezer, one can be a fridge, or they can both be freezers or both fridges. It all runs off 12 volt and it has protection uh, to not drain your battery too much, which is kind of sweet. You can turn these on here. So this thing's got a Yeti 1000 that's uh, hooked up to a 200 volt solar panel in the entire front of the cab right there. Uh, and so far I've owned this thing for two months. I haven't had to plug it in. That's topped off my batteries just sitting here on my truck. Uh, that's also wired into, I have my fridge wired into it the stove, uh, or I'm sorry, the heater within the cab is wired into it, and then all your overhead lights, as well as your exhaust fan, and then there's a carbon monoxide detector that's wired onto it as well. So it powers your entire rig, and uh, yeah, keep, so far it's been awesome. You can charge directly off it, 110, and as well as all your USB charging down there as well. Uh, it also powers these lights, which are pretty sweet. They're touch button design, and you can dim them out at night which is kind of sweet. And there's three of them. So you can keep the whole place lit on almost zero battery drain. Uh, let's move on to the heater. This is a Newport uh, mobile. Uh, it's actually designed for sailboats, but they installed it in here with that aluminum back flashing. And it's got a blower fan inside, runs right off those tanks we talked about earlier. It's really a nice little propane heater, heats this place up in a matter of minutes, uh, you can have this thing cooking. So it's, uh, and no condensation because it does have an actual exhaust vent on it. So you can run it all night on low settings, keeping this place super warm, uh, especially up there in the higher section with the bed. The floors are made of the same uh, sandwich design aluminum. 
and then all these rugs are removable so if you do track dirt in like this you just grab the rug shake it out and you're good to go again and they're waterproof i guess the waterproofing is another thing to talk about they're the only wood in here is the table these drawer systems uh, and this cooktop the rest of it is all that aluminum design so worst case if this thing gets like really soaked inside uh, nothing's gonna rot you can dry everything out and if one of your boards does get uh, wet it is all marine grade but if it does get wet you can replace it and you're not down an entire wall or structure system so up here is your main sleeping area this is at least the size of a twin if not a little bit bigger uh, my wife and up I fit fine up here together or three kids uh, no problem memory foam mattress on top of that hard aluminum insulation again so you never have to worry about getting cold at night uh, and then this turns into your secondary bed you pop this down and flop those mats right on top and you've got another bed down here the whole thing can come out too it's got these little screw downs that you can just pop out and you can run outside and have dinner out there or if you want you can pop it upside down and strap it up here for your bed so you can slot two bikes in here no problem so your bikes are a little bit more protected uh, everything's finished in uh, Pendleton wool finishes uh, so it's all super high quality the rear here is the same stuff it's all high-end uh, marine Pendleton wool uh, finishing so even if it does get wet uh, you're, you can dry it out quickly and it's not gonna wear super fast so uh, these are kind of integral into your kitchen experience. I've got two roll-down bags that I just clip on here that have all my kitchen utensils, cups, plates, all that. So you can put them on here and then the other side's got these as well. You can hang backpacks, uh, they hold a ton of weight. Uh, and then we've got a sheet that pulls across the sleeping area in case you do want to put the kids to bed early. You can uh, always hang out out here and utilize these roof or ceiling racks. Uh, just like I said, this thing can pop out. It's held down by these sweet little lay straps. And this is a custom Dometic piece that Scout did. Uh, it's a little dual burner stove, really efficient, electric start, uh, and fits really nicely within their kitchen area here. Uh, your propane is quick attached, same thing as outside, just in the interior as well. And then uh, over here is your sink. Uh, it drains externally. There's a little pop drain on the outside that you can do that on. It's also got a stopper so you can fill it up and water or whatever you want to do. The back side of this is your cutting board. So you can pop that down, use it as a cutting board if you want. Uh, if you do want to vent while you're cooking, you can turn this little puller or pusher vent on. And then these are your windows and they do index out. They're dual pane, so they are insulated as well, so you won't have any heat transfer coming in when it's really cold out. We've been using this mainly as our kind of mobile ski lodge, uh, and because during COVID all the ski lodges are closed. And even in negative temperatures, this thing stays warm uh, once you get it up to temp. You also have bug screens if you want to put bug screens up. And then on this side, you have a thermal screen, so you even have better thermal efficiency. Uh, the rest of the kitchen is this Lifesaver water jerry can. Uh, this thing's got a uh, 100,000 liter filter in it, so you can fill it off a stream by popping this uh, top cap here. Fill it up, and then uh, you can just bolt it back up. And then this is your, you just pressurize it like this, and you can turn your water on and cook, hook this up, and you've got water available. Uh, we, it holds about, uh, I think it's like seven and a half gallons, and uh, it's been great for us for, you know, two or three days, no problem. Uh, the other venting solution they came up with is this top hatch, and uh, this is, you can go all the way up. The, some models do come with a rooftop tent, that this is your portal into a rooftop tent, and you can add that later if you want. Because we're in kind of a cold and wet environment here, I didn't want that as an option for mine, but they do make it. And you can add it on later. And same thing, that's a dual pane insulated uh, window. So uh, same thing, it's got uh, both a bug screen or a heat screen, and you can completely black it out in here. So sometimes I work nights at the hospital and I do take this up with me and uh, just pull all the screens and it's as dark as night in here. So it's pretty sweet. Uh, there's also some hooks over on the wall if you have any long things like fishing rods or you know some extendable uh, ski poles will fit up in there. Uh, anything you want interior uh, that can't fit in your truck bed since obviously this takes that space, you can throw it up there.
Is you've got kind of your living space storage stuff in there. It stays pretty clean because all the dirt and junk stays on this side. So you can load those up. Uh, you can also load both of these. I have a cartridge toilet in there. It's pretty sweet because you can just click it out and put it in at night. You can put it out here and you've got an optional toilet if you want or kick it outside once you've got your campsite set up and you've got a decent cartridge toilet. The nice thing about those new Dometic cartridge toilets is uh, the empty and clean is really nice. It just the whole bottom pulls out and you just empty it out of port into your toilet and then click it back in and you're good to go. Uh, you just run a little bit of chemical in there so it doesn't freeze and doesn't stink while you're out and it works great. Any big pans that won't fit in those rolls that I was talking about can go in here. Um, you can access your sink if you need to and then uh, it's got some extra storage back there. Uh, and then you see you've got your little fire extinguisher down there if you need. But other than that, it's a pretty simple design that lets you do anything you want with it really, uh, which is the main reason I got it, is you can spec it out to whatever you want and whatever season you're in. So if you want to run bike racks and make this your bike station that charges your e-bikes off your main uh, generator, you can do that. Or if you want to make it your ski lodge and run ski racks on the back, you can also do that. Uh, yeah, it's just a great modular design that you can just do anything in. So, pretty stoked on it.